Greetings, my name is Dr. Madroha and I'll be taking you through the neonatal neurologic exam. The neonatal neurologic examination is essential in determining a neonate's neurologic function. Neonatal practitioners must not only be able to perform an organized and thorough neonatal neurologic examination, but also understand and recognize normal and abnormal findings. A friendly reminder that the most important tool in this examination will be your skills of observation. Let's start with the general exam. You check the head circumference of the child and you trend this over time. Next, you check the anterior fontanelle. Is it sunken, flat, full, or bulging? Then, check the back of the child. Check for a sacral or a coccygeal dim dimple. Look for tufts of hair and asymmetry of the gluteal folds. Next, we move to the mental status. Is the child easily arousable with minimal stimuli, irritable or lethargic, or does the child have a weak cry? Then we put this in the AVPU score. Next, we go to cranial nerves. The olfactory nerve cannot be assessed reliably in a neonate. Then we move to the optic nerve. We look for a blink response to strong light. Look for the papillary reflex, both direct and consensual. Observe if the baby is able to track objects. Then we move on to the eye exam, which consists of the oculomotor nerve, trochlear nerve, and abducens nerve. Observe if the baby has spontaneous eye movements. Are the movements conjugate? Do you notice any squints? Is the baby able to track objects? Then we move on to the trigeminal nerve, Look for signs of mastication. Is the baby able to suck and swallow? Now, onto the facial nerve. Look for facial asymmetry during rest and during sucking and crying. The vestibulocochlear nerve. Look for any reactions to sharp sounds like clapping. Onto the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve. Observe if the baby has a gag reflex. The spinal accessory nerve, observe the stanocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles, observing for a shoulder drop. Let's move on to the motor exam. First, observe for spontaneous movements and check the tone of the baby. Note any asymmetry in posture and movement. Pull the infant from a laying position into a sitting position and notice the head position, from a normal position to head lag. Check for hypotonia by lifting the baby up and holding the baby under the axilla. A child will slip through your hands if the baby is hypotonic. We then check for a grasp reflex. This is present when the child is less than 5 months of age by placing a finger in the baby's palm and look for a normal reflex to a grasping reflex. Then we check for limb recoil by extending limbs and releasing. These are normal and present after 36 weeks of gestation. Now onto the sensory exam. Observe for a grimace or withdrawal of limbs in response to pain on extremities. A slight pinch will suffice. Lastly, we go onto the reflexes. These are normally present at birth and they disappear by four to six months. The ones we should focus on will be number one, the moral reflex. Look for a change in head position and arm extension and spreading of the fingers. Then look for a rooting reflex, a stroke of the cheek causing head turning towards the stimuli. The biceps, patella, and ankle. Uh, deep tendon reflexes. This list is by no means exhaustive, but by using this simple standard approach to neurologic exam, you can spot any neurologic problems and start treatment as soon as possible. Thank you for your attention and have a blessed day.